Hey, what's up, everyone? Today I'm giving you something real special. This is your boy Stunnies, and this is my fifth video now. Please view my other videos as they are usually, this is the first one that's not, tip videos on the grounds. Tomorrow I will get you guys some more tip videos. Um, some people, I'm getting asked the question on Reddit, uh, what to do when someone's in side control and going to side saddle and abusing the two, like how do you get out of that train? I got you guys tomorrow, along with how to get out of those positions where you're on all fours and your opponent's on backside position and they lay in the punches and knock you guys out. But don't worry guys, I got you. I'll make that video tomorrow and help you out in the transition process in that case. On Sunday, two days from now, I am going to get you guys a video, hopefully if I stay on uh, up to what I'm saying here, I'm going to get you guys a video on how to maintain dominant position on the ground. But here's the special, guys. I'm versing the number five guy in PS4. His, uh, his PSN is UFC Ultimate Team. At the end of this video, I'll show you. I was not expecting this guy um, to come up. You might hear my voice in the background a little bit. It's because I got him in game chat. He was actually live streaming when I beat him. So I'm going to give you guys some after the math commentary on what I'm doing and how I got away with the win here. You may have heard me even ask him, you pretty good at this game? But I was hoping to get a good video, finding out who he was. So, alright. In the beginning of the match here, I'm trying to feel him out. I'm trying to see what he's kind of throwing, what I should look for. Um, it's too bad you can't hear him talking. You can only hear me in the game chat. But So, what I like to do for takedowns is I like to um, sway away from it, right? Like hold L2 and back with the left stick. And then as soon as they miss a punch or a kick, I'm gonna go right for a takedown. I'm already holding L2, so I'll, I'll release, right. or I'll keep holding back on the left stick, and I'll hit forward on the right stick. Hey, and usually it's a good takedown. Down. I happen to have a really good uh, power takedown with this character. So it got him down yeah, to the ground pretty easy. The the ground game. Now, Kinda my game on the ground, he obviously wasn't too good on the ground. Not as familiar as I expected, coming from the number five guy in the world in the Ultimate Team. I was killing him on the ground. What I'm doing here is well, I'm going to give you a tutorial tomorrow for a counter when someone does this to you. But what I'm doing is I'm blocking his transitions. I'm staying in side control and side saddle position. And I'm just killing his stamina. Look at my stamina compared to his stamina. Now, I could go for the submission, but I actually just happen to make this character. You know me, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, but I made a boxer, which isn't like me. And uh, oh, uh, you saw my record hey, before this video this started. Down. With this character, I was like 18 and 1. All right, so we're, in, we're staying in this position. I'm going to let him try to transition, block it. He has no stamina. I could have submitted him right now, but I don't, I don't have a submission. I don't have the Kimura with this guy. So hey, shout out my channel. right Ian, now I'm uh, trying to lay in the elbows. He flips over. This is where I wanted to get him to. I wanted him in this position. I thought the game was over right here, but he just happened to get out of it. And that's what I'm going to be showing you guys tomorrow, how to get out of that position that he got out of there. Um, it was my fault for not stopping his transition to full guard, but it is what it is. So now we're back on side saddle, and that's a really easy position to block the transition back to side control. And I want him to flip over to me on back side. So basically what I'm doing is I'm trying to bait him into going to the position that I want him in, which is all fours um, and me on backside. So I'm inside control. At this point, I'm talking to him in game chat, and he realizes this guy is really good on the ground. And if I stay on the ground, I'm going to lose. He says it in, like, while he's streaming to all of his viewers. He says, next round, I'm trying to survive. So next round, I am going to do everything I can to avoid the clinch and avoid the ground because this guy knows what he's doing. Hey, let him know. So, let him know. I'm right here we go. I don't know why he didn't skip it. I think he was talking to his guys. And um, so that was a good first round. Uh, I know a lot of you will disagree about like, oh, that's pussy, whatever, you're on the ground. This is MMA, guys. Uh, <laughs> if you want a boxing game, check out Fight Night. But my goal, I'm a ground fighter, ground and pound with this guy at least, normally a submission. So I taunt him, I learn real quick to not taunt him while I'm standing up, because he is good standing up. 
that's uh, very clear. So I'm testing him out again, seeing what he's doing, trying to figure out like where I'm going to get the best counter in, see if I can take him down, which now he's on top of it. He does not want to go down. And I'm going to try it again in a second. Um, but I realized, you know what, let's go to the clinch. Let's see what he's about. So if you punch him while you're in the clinch, it'll stop their transition, right? So then you can transition immediately after. Well, I hit, a, I hit him with an elbow and then a knee. He was not ready for the knee. Got me back on the ground where I want to be, which is fantastic. However, I think he gets up out, off the ground right here. He stops my transition and gets up. At this point, I'm like, oh, oh well. I haven't taken like any damage this game so far. And he's avoiding the ground. I don't know how the fuck that happened there. And I don't know how it put me a full mount on that. But with this game being relatively new, um, I'm even saying in game chat, like, I don't know how the fuck that just happened, but I ain't complaining. Like, <laughs> but we're back on the ground, somehow, someway, and I'm in the position that I want to be in. Now, normal people you verse online, people that aren't, this guy's played over 800 games, I believe. He knows, you know, transitioning and blocking transitions. If I ever hit that side saddle against an average player, I normally win the game. Um... He gets me up again, and at this point, if he, I, I put him back down on the ground. I'm surprised I even got that. I forgot about that last take down there. But I'm back on the ground. This guy, is he's in game chat talking to his viewers. He's getting very frustrated. Um, I'm trying to mix up my transitions since he's blocking them. And again, he gets me up. So I'm frustrated now. I'm like, fine. He doesn't want to fight in the ground. He doesn't want to fight in the clinch. I'll stand up with him. He's number five in the world. Let's see what he's all about. So I'm letting him go, seeing what he's doing. I'm putting a couple back. Gave him a little good uppercut. Can never be upset about that. Now I got to watch my stamina. My stamina's starting to get a little lower than I want. He's hit me in the stomach way more times than I want. And there it is, guys. An elbow and then a Superman punch. And he's done. I beat him at his own game standing up, the number five guy in the world. The number five guy in the world, I was better than him on the ground, in the clinch, and as you guys saw at the end there, it's better than him at standing up. So guys, I'm going to transition over here to where I show you his stats. This is where he's at, number five in the world, 100, or 745 wins, alright? Now I'm going to go over, you know. For the benefit of the doubt, I'll prove to you guys, yes, I did play against him. He was the Undertaker. You can see more of his stats as other players here, but or fighters, but there it is, the Undertaker. I gave him his fourth loss out of 40 games or so. So guys, I'm going to be posting more tips tomorrow, but if that doesn't prove my uh, credibility here, I hope that video does here. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know. Please subscribe and like this video, and I'll get you more tomorrow.